Hi, I'm Allie Newton. I'm Dr. Sharon Hunter. I'm Dr. Randy Ross. We're part of the Jerome Kern Labs and the Developmental Research Program at the University of Colorado Denver School of Medicine. We're going to be demonstrating infant P50 gating, a form of auditory sensory gating. Attentional deficits are common in a number of psychiatric disorders including schizophrenia, bipolar mood disorder, autism, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. There has been an increasing interest in the neurodevelopmental components of these attentional deficits. Neurodevelopmental meaning that while the deficits become clinically prominent in childhood or adulthood, the deficits are the results of problems in brain development that begin very early in life, in infancy or even prenatally. Despite this growing interest, there are few methods for measuring attention in infancy, particularly methods that can be used in the first few days or weeks after birth. P50 sensory gating is one method that can be used in very young infants. Attention has several components. We'll concentrate here on one of the earliest components. The brain is designed to filter out, or gate, repetitive, non-informative sensory information. This sensory gating can be measured using auditory evoked potentials. A novel auditory stimulus elicits a classic electroencephalographic, or EEG, record. Waves are designated as either positive P or negative N, and by the latency they occur after the stimulus. For a typical adult response, the early response components include N40, P50, and N100 waves. Latencies in children are long.